I was told to not meet your heroes. They say don't meet your heroes? You should never meet your heroes. Dude, I just think it's a bummer to meet your heroes. And I listened. So I decided to clone them using AI instead. But what goes into making a soul? Can it be done? What actually goes into successfully cloning a person? By the way, if you're new here, my name is Greg Camrad, and I'm on a mission to figure out how businesses will create more value using AI. But who would I clone? I needed somebody with some wit, a unique personality, a few boastful stories, and plenty of content out there. Enter Sean Pori. You could just tell that people are playing a different game at a different level. He has over 480 episodes of content on his podcast, My First Million. Let's break down the process. Step one, transcribe the audio. Once I had a full episode list, I got to work with today's video sponsor, Deepgram. They were the best and easiest transcription tool that worked for my use case. They made it extremely easy to turn all those podcasts into structured text that I could use with the language model. So somebody's gonna build a to-do list app that will actually do your to-do list. And I think that's gonna be insane. I loaded up all the episodes and with just a few lines of code, I was off. 500 hours of spoken content transcribed into 6 million words. Beautiful, clean, data. Step two, create your clone. I asked myself, what's the best way to copy a person? What do you think? I don't know. Better yet, what's the best way to instruct a language model to make one? The method I came up with has three buckets. Step one, background. This is basically a configuration file for a person. How many kids do they have? What's their favorite ice cream? What state do they live in? These are all attributes about a person that we want to give to the language model for background knowledge. Next, memories. These are specific stories or experiences that they've shared. It could be something from their childhood. It could be what they had to eat last night. Either way, these are gonna be raw text that we're gonna recall as memories for the language model given the right context. Finally, tone instructions or examples. We want the language model to know how to speak like a person. What inflections do they use? What words do they use in their vocabulary? The best way to do this is to give specific passages to the language model that truly represent how a person may speak. For the background, we take all the transcriptions that DeepGram gave us and we run it through a background checker. This is an easy way to extract all the demographics or attributes about a person from their spoken word. For memories, we're gonna do a language model classifier. This is a fancy way of saying, we're gonna chunk up all the transcriptions that we got from DeepGram, and then we're gonna go through them and ask the language model, hey, is there a memory inside this passage? Just remember that the CEO, the guy who created it, his last name was Hamburger. The reason why we do this is because if there's not a memory or a specific story, I don't want to include it in my retrieval process. And now you're going to learn things, you're going to laugh. We want to keep the signal to noise ratio really high. We'll only pull these memories when a user asks a question that may be relevant to one of those specific stories. The best way to understand what a tone actually sounds like is to ask the language model itself. I passed a few passages through my tone extractor. This is a small application that I made to extract instructions for how to mimic a tone based off a few pieces of text. Step three, create the audio. I uploaded a sample of Sean's voice to Play HT. From there, they created a high definition voice clone for me. I was able to input a piece of text and Play HT would output the audio version of that person speaking that text. After we prompt this all together, it is time to check the Frankenstein that I've created. Hey, Sean, are you alive? What do you think, man? Of course. What's the best way to make your first million? Think of it as waiting for your fat pitch opportunity. You only have to get one thing right to be rich, but you know what? The journey towards your first million will be more educational and rewarding than the million itself. Could it pass for the real Sean? The plot was already spoiled for me. I wrote the bot, but would my wife know? Hey babe. Hey, what's up? Not much, just hanging out with my friend Sean. Oh, tell him I say hi. Hey, nice to meet you. Greg and I are talking business. If you want to see a step-by-step -step explanation for how this application was made and all the code associated with it, links in the description. Who are you going to try cloning?